Hello everybody, welcome to JFW. I'm Jimmy Ventura, I think. <laughs> and in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Hi Jim, welcome JFW. How are we doing this evening? Here we are, off the back of an incredible pay-per-view. And uh, we now have our champions. Let's see how they get on. And we're on the road to money in the ass, baby. Woo! Oh, yeah, absolutely glorious. Love to see that. Um, I don't know why I started that on the thing. I could have just started on here. Um, yeah, so we've got the World Class Championship. Uh, Frost Lord won it at Night of Champions, but now he's going to have to defend it. And it, this belt is going to be defended every single week in a six-man elimination World Class match. So it's going to be tough. We've got Matthew Nador and Martin Septon making their debuts, um, you know, in, in JFW in the entirety. And for this season of JFW, we've got Firstborn, Bezel and Dave making their debuts. So yeah, basically five debuts in this match. Very exciting. <laughs> Very good, Bezel. <laughs> Whoa. Get ready for a two minute entrance. <laughs> nice, nice. Here he is, Matthew Nador, baby. Whoa. The man from Manila, glorious. Will he be a thriller? <laughs> so yeah, Jim, uh, we used to have the flip flop blues white title defended every week, but that was in one on one matches. So sometimes you get a, a champion for a, a good number of months, but six man eliminations. This is going to be quite the If somebody does like three weeks, that's going to be a huge achievement. <laughs> it's going to be pretty unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> defending it ever is going to be impressive. Um, yeah, it, yeah. The first time we ever get a defense, we'll, we'll be impressed. It obviously should happen eventually, but yeah, anything more than that is just outstanding. Yeah, this is going to swap a lot. Yeah. If it wasn't called the World Class Championship, I, I just had an idea before that could make it an elimination chamber and then have the, the champ, the sixth one, outright to give them a bit of an mm. advantage to increase yeah. the odds. If, but, um, but then it is called the World Class Championship, so it kind of doesn't make any sense for it to not be defended nope. in World Class matches. I'm, I'm up for this. I'm up for this. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And, and maybe Frostlord Army makes us eat our words and just instantly wins Tell of the Trot. Maybe. <laughs> if anybody can, he's, he's definitely one of, the, one of the JFW superstars that could do that. Mm. No coincidence that he's the champion right now. That was uh, a very, very impressive win on Sunday night. Absolutely. And the memes are coming in thick and fast from the chat. Well done, Tom and Storm. <laughs> <laughs> Matt certainly got his, his money's worth of that entrance, I tell you. <laughs> oh, what, what a theme tune! First one, baby! Let's go! <laughs> An absolute legend, and uh, I don't know if you know this, but he grows his own beard. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> he's, uh, he's added a D to the end of that since last time I knew him. Yeah, well, one time I raided him, and he said, he says, he said, I brew my own beard. But it, I heard I grew my own beard. <laughs> <laughs> he just cracked me up so much and he's like, so proud, I grew my own beard. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a pretty great beard, to be fair, I'd be proud. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Oh, look, he's just grown it, there you go. <laughs> oh, the legend. Some of these debuts, some of these re-debuts. First quarter calls a classic and Bezel! Bezel! <laughs> How's he gonna get on botless for now? Botless and I'm guessing bottomless. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry about the spoilers chat, but I also think it's only fair to give a warning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, thank God the power walk still exists. 
Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, oh the champ comes out fourth, doesn't he? Yeah. I was just going to say that the champ's still come out fifth, and here he is in fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see multiple WWE game makers making the same smart decision. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tom, long story. Might as well say it, though, because, you know, it's only the world-class champion on his way to the ring. With, with a, no, this is Kevin Owens. Yeah, this is Kevin Owens' champion's entrance. But most people's entrances have just been replaced by a generic entrance, but this is actually the Kevin Owens' champion. So that's good, isn't it? Nice. Nice. Um, it is minimum courtesy to give a warning. Like. <laughs> 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 top class store, top class. Uh, these Eel does have a nice time because what happens with this game is, right, pictures don't show up like what they are, right? They show up a random amount of ridiculously brighter. And so sometimes their skin shows up way brighter than it is, and they like look like they're glowing, and they're like white, pure white. And sometimes it shows up like what it is. So bezels just showed up like what it was and didn't get brighter. But anyway, here's Martin Septim, the the new, the new, absolutely brand new wrestler, along with Matthew Nador here. He looks suspiciously like Sean Bean because Martin Septim in the I don't know what is it, Oblivion Scrolls or something, was voiced by Sean Bean. And he ended up the king, so there you go. Perfect wrestling um, wrestler. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Was it Patrick Stewart? And then he died, and Sean Bean took over. Something I can't remember. Man, it's such a long time ago since I've uh, played Oblivion. Patrick Stewart did do one. Yeah, I think he did. Oh, was Sean Bean uh, Morrowind? I, I don't know. Or, yeah, I, I, I've lost track, but yeah, <laughs> awesome. And yeah, don't worry about the bright whites, Jim, because uh, we all had to get used to it on Blood Bowl 3, so it's fine. <laughs> hey! Um, ah, so there you go. Um, Patrick Stewart did Uriel Septim, and Sean Bean did Martin Septim. There you go. Nice, nice, okay. Mm. Oh, look who it is! It's Dave! Making his Dave view. <laughs> his Dave view. <laughs> Dave. You can't, you can't beat a bit of Dave. <laughs> what, what else is there to say about it but Dave? <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> no, nothing else. Huh? Right, right up your wheelhouse, commentating on Dave, Jim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man, I wish we could have custom signs for the crowd, right? And just have like loads of yep yeah. signs and stuff. It'd be incredible. <laughs> we had a, like a cut shot of the pay-per-view where like five people were all wearing this really specific Undertaker t-shirt next to each other. And I thought, man, that's so lame. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, yeah, custom shirts for the audience would be amazing. Yeah, well, wouldn't, wouldn't that be ridiculously good? Mm. All right, we're underway. Uh, the champ gang taken down by Dave. So, <laughs> uh, not the best start if he's going to survive all the way to the end. And oh my goodness, oh, being God. taken down by Matthew Nador as well. Oh my <laughs> word. Me. They know who to go after here. <laughs> oh, not looking like we're going to get a defense. Nope. The early sign. They're doing really well. Strickland against Bezel finally does take some shots from Frostlord. Okay, here comes Frostlord. He's woken up into the match. Martin Septin doing a number on Firstborn. Everybody's still in the ring. It's absolutely crazy in here. That's wild, isn't it? I'm sure it'll spill out in just a moment. Dave taken down by Firstborn. Frostlord Army comes in. Okay, we've got a few... Outside now, there we go. Just Basil and Frosty in the middle. No, back in comes Matthew Nadeau on first board. Dave's got a weapon. Doesn't, uh, doesn't manage to hold on to it against uh, Matthew Nador. Too quick by far. Oh, huge left to right by Matthew Nador on the outside. And Martin Septim on the outside. Sorry, yes, Martin Septim <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> Getting my, uh, my names each 
in every which way around. Oh, what a spear! Onto the concrete! How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? 23 feet of concrete tonight. Oh, dear, that's that's not good news for Dave right now. <laughs> it's really not. That's 22 right, more than he's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and brain cells. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, we had split to three on three, but uh, Bezels ended up on the outside. So yeah, it's Frostlord in all sorts of trouble against Matthew Nador. Oh, what a power bomb! What yeah. a power bomb! <laughs> Champ might not be here in just a moment. Oh, and Martin sent it busted open by a DDT to the concrete by Bezel, only to be taken out by the kendo stick of Firstborn. And then Dave. Oh, no, the DDT onto the concrete for my Inceptive. He is not having a good time of it out here. He let's better hope, get back to the ring, I think. Let's hope he doesn't die. That's the, that's the main thing. Oh, my word, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in danger, given his given his face picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Frostlord actually managing to fight back in the one fight that matters right now, the one fight that could end in an elimination. Of course, mm. all the damage being done on the outside. And now everyone, all six contenders on the outside. There will be no eliminations as it stands, but lots and lots of punishment. Yeah, there was a nice bit of synchronized resting from Dave and Bezel. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the way to go, isn't it, in these six men? There's Absolutely. no need to be the guy that eliminates the first four. It's all about the fifth and final elimination. Absolutely. Oh! Bezel! Oh, no! The hardest part of the ring, Jim! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> Dave has been doing some uh, some serious wrestling training since last we saw him, and in the ring they go. Mm. Look at the end of Bezel. Good measure, Dave picks up the kendo stick. But he's uh, he's off round elsewhere now. Mind stepped in, taking down Matthew Nador onto the concrete. Caught by Firstborn afterwards, the champion Frostlord. Close line from behind by Bezel. Dave with the kendo stick now. Oh, goes after and gets Matthew Nador and Firstborn, I think. Wow, Dave is like the cerebral assassin here, isn't he? This has been amazing stuff. <laughs> it, it really has. Oh, but he pays a prize. Oof. Everybody getting their moves in. It's hard to say exactly who's on top. Martin Septon and Firstborn in the ring. Can one of them put the other away? Ezel just Ooh. getting rid of Frostlord Army. He's just out the uh, out the match right now. <laughs> wow, miles away. Halfway back to the locker room. <laughs> to toss off Firstborn. Certainly did. The uh, the crowd were counted along with Firstborn there. They are counting no more. Man, what a maneuver from Martin Septim. He's definitely got some moves. Oh, was that bezel busted open by Frosty? I think it was. And a sledgehammer shot from Dave to Matthew Nador. In the meantime, I don't think the ref had even noticed that uh, Firstborn was in a headlock there. He could have tapped and probably got away with it. <laughs> uh, ref hit by Dave on the roll in. We still haven't had a big ref bump, have we? Uh, definitely the refs are doing better at getting out of the way in uh, the modern day JFW than they used to. Yeah, do you know what? I think it, I think it might not even be possible because mm. uh, they've got women's refs now, right? They've got female refs. Oh, okay. Can have, so I reckon they might have just taken out ref bumps completely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, might have to do an absolute number on Dave. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Pedigree! To Frosty from Bezel! Oh, the disrespect! Flip me! No respect for the champ whatsoever. And then he goes straight up to Firstborn and does a number on him as well. Oh, nice block from Firstborn though on the follow up clothesline. Brings Bezel back to the ring. Everybody going inside except for Frosty. Oh, German suplexes. Matthew Nador holding on. Might incept him in a world of hurt. Wow. I don't know what you're talking about, Odonicalis. There is no graphite in the arena. <laughs> Fair play, Frosty. Why not? Two <laughs> count might set him on. Dave catches oh, Frosty be there. How did he have the strength? And he gets the pin, but the ref's distracted because there's a submission going on. Will Bezel hold on? Frosty's been down for about five. He shouldn't be the champ anymore, Jim. He should not be the champ. This is a ridiculously long pin. <laughs> he knows he's not being counted, though, right? He's just conserving energy, I'm sure. There you go. <laughs> Fair, well, he really conserved to the maximum. I guess that's smart. I guess that's smart. <laughs> At some point, Dave should have probably let go of the pin, but I don't expect smart from Dave. Say that, the sledgehammer shot. Smarts Matthew the door. Oh, oh Bezel with a wonderful uh, flying neck breaker on Matthew the door. Does he go for the pin? No, he's going for a submission. No, he's going to break his arm. My word. 
First one getting the better of Matthew Nador, avoiding the baseball shot. Uh, sorry, the better of Mike Septon. I did it again. Uh, Frost Lord Army coming in though, standing above both now. Bezel getting some payback on Dave. Matthew Nador wisely having a complete rest by himself. It's exactly what you should do. And uh, this is one of the longest we've gone without an elimination. Probably the probably the longest we've gone without an elimination since the restart of the JFW, Jim. It probably is, yeah. This has been... Uh, I wonder if they'll all start dropping like flies once one gets eliminated. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me with the damage laid out here. It isn't going to take much on anybody. Bezel's going to the top. No this could be the end of Dave. Oh, he gets it. He gets it. Oh, yes. That's got to be it. Poor Dave. Brilliantly played by Bezel, and then there was five, and all five in the ring, all six still. They haven't got out yet. Oh, this could be for Frosty! The jump! The jump! Oh, oh my goodness, how? And now, first ball! First ball! First ball, first he's got Bezel's got two eliminations, Jim! Flip me! Oh, look at this! He might, he might have Martin Septum as well! <laughs> Go for a third, as Matthew Nador completely lays out everybody out with a chow on the outside! Oh, so close! Wow, Bezel, a man on fire. Who needs extra arms, Bart? When you're <laughs> Bezel, <laughs> now, the he's a now. The pen's Oh, man, follows it up with a sledge. It could have just pinned. Follows it up with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Poor Martin Septim. He is not going to want to ever be in the JFW again. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to JFW, buddy. Right. Oh, wow, look at this, though. Stall mm. suplex or... Mm. Wow, oh, my word, he's squatting him, Jim. That's pretty insane, isn't it? Pretty brave when it's bezel, you know what's dangling over your head. <laughs> exactly, flip me. <laughs> well, once you'd rather the sword of Damocles. <laughs> it was the sword of swords. The sword of bezel, please. Oh my word, this is quite oh. a turnaround in the ring. Bezel's oh. in all sorts of trouble. But here comes Matthew the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. He's absolutely killed Bezel, but doesn't get the chance to finish him off because Matthew the door's decided that Martin Septim is his target. <laughs> Dude, hit him. Oh, oh, oh my chest. word. That orbital bone has gone into next week, and that is definitely the end of Martin Septim. What? No! Wow. Shut up. All right, he's got some fight in him. Oh, oh pedigree! pedigree! Pedigree out of nowhere! <laughs> Maybe with Matthew the door. Good effort, son. That's but you're going be, home. It's got to be it. No! What? <laughs> Nobody used to kick out of the pedigree. Oh, Spymaster! He's got two. They can pick both at the same time, Jim! <laughs> Oh, and he has got Matthew the door. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, here we Another go. Another pedigree. It's going to be Bezel. Versus no! Russell. Oh, we got the counter. The counter from Matthew the door. Oh, and then Bezel comes and wipes him out. Oh, opportunist Bezel. Oh. oh. I thought we were having Bezel, the MVP of the match so far, versus the champ. How? The Frost Lord Army's taking so much damage. How is he still in this one? I mean, he's just built different, isn't he, Frosty? He's, he's got his he, juice he boxes. Is. <laughs> there's, there's not many matches he goes into. Not the favourite. He says his prayers and he takes his vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly looks like it. Oh, my goodness. Multiple sledgehammer shots to Bezel. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. And then a huge knee. Saved only by Matthew Nador, decides he wants to try and get rid of the champ. Neither of these want to fight the champ one-on-one, -on -one, which is actually very wise. They should sort of make an alliance here until Frosty's eliminated. Well, Matthew Nador's not gonna be helping for a while. Wonderful running neck breaker from Bezel. No alliance, Jim, no <laughs> alliance at all. It's every man for himself. Oh, Bezel's done for. Oh, and then opportunist champion Frostlord Army immediately takes out Matthew Nador, who eliminated Bezel. Can Frosty defend? He's so close. He's so close we, to doing the unthinkable. We've gone enough to wait months for the first defense, <laughs> and it's looking like we get it. Match number one. Outrageous. And that's it.
Maybe. Surely the sledgehammer shots. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you what, even if he doesn't win it from here, Matthew Lador has made an impression on me, Jim. Now oh, that is, yeah, it's been incredible. He's not done yet. Some sort of varied Samoan drop there. Yeah, it's, in still, the head. it's still dangerous for Frosty, right? He's ta he has taken a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm amazed he kicked out of some of the stuff he's already kicked out of. He could go. He really could go. Oh, but look at the ring swats there, Jim. <laughs> Oh, and he's catching him on the top rope. Oh, 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 oh yeah, rookie I, I error. Think, I think the punch threw him off. <laughs> oh, oh, and he's busted him open. It's and then grabs the sledgehammer. Oh, man. Oh, that's got to be it now. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, that's got to be. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't even watch. <laughs> oh, somehow, Matthew Nador fights on. Surely not. <laughs> what? not. Oh, Press slam oh. into standing moonsault. <laughs> Where is this coming oh. from? But the Frosty catches the super kick. Oh. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Oh, the pedigree. Here is the pedigree. This is going to be the at this time. The champ <laughs> remains the champ. He's done it, Jim. Six <laughs> round elimination. He's won and retained his title. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Get off my fucking victory. <laughs> wow. Who would believe it? Who can stop what one man frostled army? I would want to try. <laughs> actually, un actually unbelievable. Just instantly defend. <laughs> wow. Oh, Impressive. God champion's advantage in this case just being an absolute badass <laughs> yeah yeah here is your winner and <laughs> yeah fair play <laughs> such a bad start as well just got completely pounded on at the start yeah. it wasn't ref he's slipping a little there oh don't look at the end of the day it's not a rig job right look i'm sure i'm sure frosty had it in him to kick out right and he just chose not oh, to yeah you know, you, you've got the the ref, if the ref isn't counting, why are you going to kick out? Like it didn't make any sense to kick out, right? Wait until the ref's got his eyes on you. Wait for that second count and then kick out. Absolute consummate professional. Um. I I'd, I'd forgotten about that. I don't know about that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, sorry about that. Anyway, I just, I just randomly sometimes just sometimes you need a bit of luck. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean there was luck involved obviously, like the ref was bad, right? And maybe he would have maybe he wouldn't have been able to kick out on two, we'll never know. But the fact that he stayed down for longer doesn't really uh doesn't really make any difference, does it, you know? <laughs> anyway, now we've got Plim Pom Pluses are in action. We've got the the new champ, Lod the Bod. Gonna def well not he's not defending, this isn't a defence, this is just, you know, strutting his stuff with uh, five of the other Plim Plum Plusers. Um, very exciting. So, uh, yep. Yeah, presumably one of these would be taking a step towards a title shot unless Lod the Bod continues his perfect record in the JFW and yet again comes out victorious. Talk about multiple six-man victories. This would be three on the bounce stream, wouldn't it, Jim? It would. It oh, would no, be. no, sorry. He won, a, he won a triple threat. Yeah. Uh, oh, one-on-one, on one, sorry one for the title. Yeah, so he, he did win one on his debut, though. So, yeah, this would be a ridiculous continuation of his perfect record. It would indeed. Right, let's get to ringside. Oh, what the... What the hell? It's... It's... It's Storm and Flicky. What? But they're, they're both in the YPA, Jim. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought they were. But, you know, Storm's got his Andorran colours on here, and... Uh, I think he I think he blames Flicky for their loss and against Team Fantastic. Oh wow. I mean oh okay that's a variation of that move. Uh it certainly yeah, it was an embarrassing loss, Jim. They had the the advantage going in and uh, still managed to find the loss. So yeah, maybe maybe it was Flicky's fault. <laughs> it's just not possible to enjoy your match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh wow, he's got he's got a bloody shovel, but Store uh, sorts him out. <laughs> yeah, store, store getting the best of this so far. That's for sure. Flicky in all sorts of trouble. I don't. What does this mean for the YPA going forwards? 
God knows, yeah. I mean, it could be it could be the end of the YPA almost, couldn't it? Uh, it certainly seems it, like it's the end of Stores Association. Well, maybe the end of Flicky's association with the YPA. Who knows? They they lost on Sunday, and then JBG lost to Jimmy, and now this. It's yeah, the ride's on the wall. It is it's a, it's a, it's oh, wouldn't want to be in the YPA right now. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in Yorkshire ever, Jim. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's funny because there's there's two there's two halves of Yorkshire, right? In the Jeff W, we've got Flicky and Foxamania from Leeds, and then we've got Tommy Combo and JBG from Hull. So, like, you know, there's that bit of a there is that bit of a divide, and then we've got then we've got Store from Andorra. <laughs> Yes, yeah, well, we're definitely part. seeing that divide right now. Yeah. The strangest part of Yorkshire, you might. <laughs> or, or, or the least strange, maybe. Who, who knows? It depends on your viewpoint. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, no, uh, no one budging here as they collide. Oh, but what a belly to belly from Flicky. Store had the advantage at the start. Flicky definitely coming back strong now. He's going for the shovel, but he's going to be too slow. I think yes, taken out from behind. Right on the back. Got to watch those halflings. They are sneaky. Yep. Oh, he's got the shovel this time. Oh, oh no! Oh my god! Oh, oh stay down, oh Store. God, this one's over. Oh my god! Flicky loving not... himself there. <laughs> I mean, Flicky did did get the advantage for the YP in the match, didn't he? And, but he did get pinned yep. by Fymir as well to lose the match, so... Yeah, well, and what does the advantage count for if you get pinned to lose? Mm. Oh, my God. Well, I think Storr's regretting this right now. <laughs> you, you could argue that Storr should have done more in the build-up to the pin and maybe even made the save, right? Yeah. yeah. But he definitely doesn't see it that way. Yeah. Ooh, but this is a big move. It is. Oh, Stora's turned this right around. Has he got it? Not yet. <laughs> Flicky's knee's destroyed. I mean, that might be because of all the wrestling, or it could just be oh. because he's about 50. <laughs> huh? My word. Trying to finish it with a shovel, but no. Flicky somehow gets to his feet, gets the shots in. Great rights and lefts here from Flicky. He's been working on the bag. Yeah, I mean, Store is the same. Oh, oh my God. Store is about the same height as most of his students, isn't he? It's a disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, super kick to the gut from Flicky. Store reeling. Flicky just uh, soaking in the moment. And here he comes with the shovel. Time to bury Store oh. six feet down under. Hopefully, oh not my. literally. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Wow, look at this, though. What a return from Storr. Right onto that metal knee guard. Yeah. Is it enough to turn the tide, though? Oh, this could be. Oh, oh it is. Oh, my God. Storr making his point that Flicky is the weak link in the YPA, but which one is the one to go? Surely they can't coexist going forward. Flip me. You, you wouldn't think so. It's going to be it's going to be very interesting to find out, find out. But now, hopefully, we actually can get to ringside and see this uh, <laughs> see this plim plum plus weight match. Flip me. <laughs> oh, I, I thought we were going to cancel them, Jim, like the old days. <laughs> No, it's too hard to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, here comes Necronome. He did enjoy him on his debut. He obviously came up short on that occasion. He can put himself right back in the running for the Plimpon Pluserweight title tonight, as can any of these contestants. Glorious. Unless, once again... No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend... I will defend. Yep. Thank you very much there. Store absolutely staying fantastic, glorious. Oh, it was Frosty. Thank you very much, Frosty. What a legend. <laughs> Look at this live red mask. <laughs> the Friday football not getting uh, not getting to use that to his advantage in the, in the new look JFW, sadly. <laughs> It needs to be the Tuesday night something. 
Yeah, Le Bread Mask, of course, one of the, if not the, classic Blim Blom Blues away. But uh, also didn't get it done. The surprise Lod the Bod victory on the very first return Monday, uh, Tuesday night, sorry, of JFW saw Lod go through and Bread go home. So now he's got his second chance to uh, to make that right. Yep. <laughs> Hang on, Jim. Is he coming out third? <laughs> I can't keep up with this. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> At this rate, they're going to come out before it's even time for the match. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. When you got a bod like that, you want to get it out there, Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah. To be fair, I'd never wear a shirt if I looked like that. <laughs> 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 Looking very much like Billy Butcher, isn't he? <laughs> just, just quietly. <laughs> Two wins out of two. Can he make it? Three out of three. That, that would be outrageous. He doesn't even need to win tonight. Maybe the motivation will be off a little bit. Maybe he's been partying a little too hard. But my word, if he makes it three out of three, that would be absolutely ridiculous. I think that would even one up Frostlord Army. <laughs> the Bread Bass might be the original Plip Plop Blues Away champion and Gorilla Mezzo's number one but here's mine baby Muppet Pac-Man the giant killer I would be surprised to see him get the victory tonight Jim no oh, yeah Muppet Muppet is, Muppet is probably the people's champ isn't he or, honestly over all of the JFW Muppet really probably is the, the, the people's champ the mono Gotta brown be. the jester's outfit <laughs> the only funny. stakes we're happy to see <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. I never thought of that. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Nah, I gave him that horn, Jim. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yep, yep, he is blowing my horn right now. Oh, baby. <laughs> God, can't even see it. <laughs> is it. Is it rusty or not? <laughs> oh, no, pristine. Thank you very much. Oh, good. <laughs> he has a whistle. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> His soul could be a new favourite. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Amazing to see Soul in the JFW. Looks absolutely fantastic. Another one that impressed me on their debut, but didn't quite make it. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love a Soul win tonight. I'm a big fan of Sol. <laughs> What's in the cup, Jim? <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good, it's a very good question. Um, probably, probably going to ask you every week. Not PG. <laughs> Sammy just giving you a clue there. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the cup, Jim? What's in the cup? <laughs> Oh my god, if, if only we could get Skurot to do that, that would be amazing. <laughs> Full Forces isn't, isn't suitable for anything, never mind Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Sol's pretty great, isn't he, Daniel? Sol is pretty, pretty great. Yeah. Whoa. I tell you what, though, this is an entrance and a half. <laughs> isn't it? It's a bit ironic that he's got a clock, because he's never on time for the five idiots. <laughs> well, you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> This is why. <laughs> oh yeah, that that'll be why. <laughs> Pretty great. 
Rumor has it that Isla brought him that stick on the last walk. Hey! It's a big stick. <laughs> He's half asleep and not paying attention. <laughs> 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 That is a very good time. <laughs> I guess we'll find out by how well he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, love love a bit of Dal. Come on. I must say, I'm really enjoying all these JFW superstars. Mm. <laughs> Except the bread mask because Gorilla Meso likes him. Yeah, yeah, screw that guy. <laughs> 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 ever, ever since that, <laughs> what was it? The, what was it? The dick and neck match. What? What was it? Oh man! <laughs> yeah. Why can't I remember? <laughs> dick and elbow. Elbow. That's what I elbow. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you. Thank goodness. <laughs> dick and elbow match. Flip me. <laughs> I'll never forget Gorilla Metal. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how hard we try. <laughs> wow, look at this! The champ laid out in the middle of the ring, soul laid out. There's been some oh. damage no, 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 destroyed by the bread mass. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh and then the bread mass sent fly to the concrete! <laughs> this is they've got blues awaits on steroids. But well, then they wouldn't be blues awaits. But you know what I mean, Jim. <laughs> is this instantly out? No, nearly. <laughs> I, I think Muppet could take steroids and still be a please away. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, Necrodome with the moves! Oh. Odd now going in on Necrodome. Goodness me. They really are showing what they've got tonight yeah. in the uh, high flying sets. The Breadmaster just shrugging <laughs> off a dropkick from <laughs> Rod the Bard. No respect for the champ whatsoever. I tell you what, dude, do we pay more attention? I, I guess we pay more attention to who wins, right? But it isn't nothing to be the one to eliminate Lod the Bard if that isn't the eventual winner. Indeed, yeah, yeah. It'll be very interesting to see what happens in that regard. <laughs> Bard getting the, uh, the kendo stick. He's just out having fun tonight. <laughs> oh, Flago cuts him off. Maybe he thought, maybe he thought he was an innocent prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this going every which way. Lebrem Mask doing a number on Necronome in the ring. Sol's been thrown in towards them, but nobody's followed him in. Lod's taking it out his frustrations on Dado Muppet coming in on Lod oh. with a flying hurricane run of round, baby. Amazing. My word. 1080 hurricane run. And then the short DDT onto the concrete as Sol has turned things around the ring, Sol the middle oh. rope! Oh! oh! He aimed for Donald to go back and over! Yeah, incredible! Oh wow. The agility yeah, of re Sol. Really is all Sol, that could be Donald gone already, no, just a one count. Love the Bob dominating the bread mask and Muppet at the same time here, really staking his claim as the new JFW great. He is. He is. Sledgehammer shots from Necronome on the bread mask. Oh Nobody likes the original Plimplum Pluzoite champion. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh, Sol in trouble all of a sudden. Yeah, the Kimura from Fargo. Somehow, it looked like he tapped him there, but he, uh, he apparently was slapping his shoulder to get himself out of it. I don't know how that was allowed, but it was. <laughs> yep, fair, fair play. We're missing a, a JFW superstar, Jim. Are we? I'm seeing five right now. Oh, no, no, there we go. Sorry, somebody was on the floor and just, just popped up on the outside. Five, <laughs> that's, that's better. Okay. Either that or I had a Jimmy Camping moment. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. a hockey stick. We've not seen a hockey stick before. No, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Are we in Canada tonight? <laughs> no, I just, I, I just think it's, uh, I just think it just must be random, right? It was random what, what you pull out, and they're just messing with the microphone. Oh, Necronome nearly eliminated. Two count from Daddle, getting pretty close. Does Newcastle have a, a hockey team? Probably, yeah, probably. They've got a basketball team. And that's nice. nearly the same. <laughs> Oh, Lord, the champ's pinned, Jim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tom Schnitz. 
Oh my god, Tom! If Tom Schniz can make it to that hockey stick, <laughs> he'll, he'll have a proficiency bonus for sure. <laughs> Goblin's hit Outrageous, uh, oh wow, double team on Muppet, poor Muppet, completely out of it now. Oh, yeah, we've got a, a few Canadians in the joke, but believe it, yeah, Thompson is the, the only one in this matchup. Oh wow, Necronome is starting to save Sol, doesn't want the champ to get a pin in. Determined to be the one to, to pin the champ and make his mark that way in this matchup. <laughs> It's the shortcuts of success, many would say. Indeed. Oh. I don't think Floridians like police either. <laughs> oh, done some right in his head. Oh, and then Rubber does the same to the bread mask on the concrete. Bit of a, a side battle onto who was the best. Classic. Oh, oh. that'll bust it open. Sol in real trouble now. That really, this really could be the tap. True. And it is, and it is. Oh, we love Sol, but Necronome doing an absolute number. Well played, Necronome. Okay, so sorry, Sandwich. Floridians with blue hair. <laughs> I don't think get oh, on he's with got the same <laughs> Jim. He's oh got my it. God! He's got the jump. He's got he's the jump. Necronome with back-to-back -back eliminations, including the champion. Now, who will go on to win this match? Either way, Necronome has stamped his mark in the Flip Flop Bruiserweight division tonight. He really has. Flip me. <laughs> oh, wow. The Bread Mask. Yeah, we've still got the two absolute classics, Muppet and the Bread Mask, and they are the two on top right now. Muppet making sure that Necronome doesn't have all the glory tonight. If they can get rid of him. Mask has oh, the hockey what? stick. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at the technique. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Devastation for Daddle. Somehow fighting back, though. <laughs> Goblin built to take punishment, some might say. <laughs> oh, man, the slow walk from Lord there. The disillusionment in his eyes. Can't believe he was been... destroying, uh, Yeah, yeah. His first ever loss in the JFW, but he does walk away. With the title, Muppet was doing an absolute number on Necronome, and Daddle decided that uh, he wanted to come in and take out Muppet for some reason. Mm. Wasn't pinned though, was he? Mask. He did tap, and I wonder how much that was just, you know, for protecting himself, maybe. Yeah, maybe, you yeah. Know, there was. He came out and he had his fun. There was no need for him to win tonight, was there? Yeah. Mm. yeah why? Why get injured as the champion? It makes no sense. Mm. Oh, Libroid mask again. Boosh. Yeah, Necronome has had his moment, but since then it's been all punishment. Oh, I'm talking to which Daddle. Oh no! Oh no! Surely, surely. That's, gotta that's be it, it for yeah. Daddle. Gotta be. No. Wow. <laughs> Daddle really has some resilience in him. He really, really does. He really does. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh but beautiful. Not that much. Not that much. <laughs> beautiful move from Muppet. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely stunning, and that's why he's the best ever, baby. <laughs> if not literally, then in my heart. <laughs> yep. Literally, it was probably Hancock back in the day. Oh, yeah, Hancock's run was unreal. But uh, Ansi had a run like that as well. Like, Ansi had an outrageous run, and then, and then just <laughs> regressed into his <laughs> current brains were himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd had one meal. <laughs> I think it was the Greggs that Greggs corrupted him. One Greggs, yeah, he had one Greggs with this guy and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow! Oh, oh Necronome destroys Muppet! Oh. Absolutely destroys Muppet. Jesus. I am loving the Necronome we're seeing tonight. Yeah, this is a hell of a performance. Really turned it on from, oh my god, his debut. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> it's the second time Muppet's been double teamed. <laughs> Jeez. Nobody goes into the ring post of this game, I've noticed. Yeah, not often. Oh. Okay, somehow Muppet fighting back. Got them both lined up on the barricade. This is excellent for Muppet. Oh, and a sledge. Good job not grabbing the hockey stick. Oh no, <laughs> Hurricane Rana! Too quick for the blade mask. But here comes Necronome. 
The bread mask gets Muppet. Necronome gets the bread mask. Oh my goodness. Could this be a third elimination, Jim? He's going for it again. He's going for it again. Oh, the change the bread mask. The old enemies become friends. <laughs> But not for long. The bread mask turns the Muppet. Inverted Hurricane Rana. Somehow Muppet crawls to his feet. Strength advantage to the bread mask. Swinging net breaker. <laughs> the bread looks like twice as big as Muppet. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> Muppet needs his own division by himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The brutality of the copper with a stick. Oh, great, great escape there by Necrono after uh, mm. taking the uh, move by the Breadmaster. The Breadmaster straight after him, surprised Necrono. Well, I say that, he was playing possum. He actually immediately reversed it. Oh, oh another team! The, the two classic taking out the new boy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The bread mass wiped out on the concrete by Necronome. Oh, look behind you, though, Necronome. He has his zombie-ish moments, oh. Necronome. Just walks oh. into a uh, move. Yeah. Oh, my word. He caught a oh break over there. Got a, getting rolled into the ring, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Actually caught a break. Oh, okay. Necronome puts everybody in the ring and then lets them go at it. Wise. Yeah. Really Look wise. at this! I mean, he's sensible, isn't he? What a great move! Cover him! Really cover him. smart! Really smart! One on one! Oh! oh the bread mask finds the kick out at two and a half. Oh! Oh! It's the move! It's the move that got rid of Lord the Bard. And uh, whoever was first, it was a uh, oh Sol. Yeah. And Muppet gets out. Muppet is the first one to get out of that move tonight after all the punishment he's taken, Jim. Flip me. I mean, Muppet is, he really is the David of the JF, JFW, isn't he? Beating not only Goliath, but extra arms bot. I mean, that historic match that wasn't televised. <laughs> but he Dave did it. I like to argue that he's the David of the JFW, but I know what you mean, Jim. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, Muppet. Necronome hurting himself in the process, oh, though, flip. badly. Right in the cup. Badly. Yeah, very mummy, very mummy, very zombie-like sometimes. Yeah, it? yeah, it's costing him. It's costing him, Jim. <laughs> wow, huge hurricane runner onto the concrete. Necronome's recovered from his uh, literal brain worms. <laughs> oh, man, hurricane runner from Muppet now. Look how much of Muppet is on the body. That's <laughs> awful. Jeez, the crap. <laughs> Tossed off by a zombie. Oh, baby. <laughs> DDT <laughs> onto the concrete, but got to bring it back inside. I don't know, why is he walking away to have his next zombie moment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Muppet blocks. Great block from Muppet. Saw that one coming. Didn't see that from the bread mask, though. Muppet onto the inside. Necrono goes after him. He senses weakness. The bread mask coming in. He does, he does, he thinks he can finish it. Neckbreaker, the bread mask wisely, just walks off. <laughs> Picks up a sledgehammer oh, to take out. There we go, this could be it. Muppet is surely eliminating Muppet, he is. Yeah. Oh it God. took twice with Muppet, but he's eliminated three competitors with that move, Jim. Flip me. Watch out. Oh! <laughs> Stalked by the bread mask. This is why he's such a great plimp on Bluesaway champion in the past, Jim. He knows exactly what and when to get involved. And he's oh, got the win! Yeah, he's, he's got the win! It's the only elimination he made and it's all he needed. Oh, wow. Amazing. The Bread Mask. The greatest of all time, as Gorilla Metz always used to say. The original Plum Plum Pluserweight gets himself back into contention. But so does Necronome, as you say, with multiple eliminations, including Lord the Bod. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of want to see at some stage both of those get their due. Then earns it for me tonight. Yep. Or, or maybe face each other. There's multiple options for uh, whoever the hell the commissioner is these days, Jim. <laughs> yeah, we don't really know. It seems all a bit up in the air. Who knows? <laughs> That's the end of that match. Flip me. Always bet on bread. <laughs> 
right, well now it's time for the main event, which is, as you can see, a uh, Money in the Ass qualifier. It's not an interesting, exciting format though, it's just another, yet another six-man elimination match, woo! <laughs> this is what Tuesday nights are all about, baby. They're a, it's a great match for that, to be fair. I love it. Yeah, I really, I really enjoy. I like. I've always enjoyed the six-man ones, and and it, it's really hard to have any other kind of match because of the stupid bloody ring, uh, ring I'm, things. I'm just glad we got the JFW back. Yeah, we're 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 working with what we've got and making a surprisingly good job of it. I I think, uh, yeah, uh, whoever behind the scenes is doing it, so good, good on them. <laughs> and it's also it's what I was used to when I came into the JFW with uh, the old 2K16 as well. Yeah, glorious, glorious. Well, there you go. Right, let's go to ringside. You can see all the people there, um, all all JFW veterans, but some of them making their debut in the new JFW. And Jim, tell us again. So uh, this is a, this is an elimination for for the money in the ass ladder match. Yes, eight man ladder match on. Uh, well, I can tell you, I can't remember when it is. Uh, Sunday, the second of July, eight yeah. p.m. There you go. UTC. Oh. oh no. Oh no. It took him years, Jim. It took him years and years and years to win the world title. But then he did it for all of one night. But you know, it doesn't matter. It's not the length of the reign that matters. It's how you use it. And he got there, Jim. He finally, finally got there. Yep. You will forever be a former champion. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take that away from him. You can't. You can't. What you can take away from him is about £100 that he's lost. He's got himself into a super amazing shape. He, he really has. He really has. Uh, yeah, this is it. Yeah. He's still reliving his shit glory days. <laughs> well, I, I think it used to say shirt, but now that he's lost so many pounds... <laughs> Has he won any SFLs? He's won three, five, and eight. He is a legend of the SFL. He did allow Nick to win the ninth, though. <laughs> he, he, uh, he used to have to have it labelled a shirt, because otherwise he wasn't sure where to put it on. <laughs> oh, dear. Four. It's great to have him back. It's great to have him back. It really is. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Even if he is a little overpowered. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's, let's hope he didn't create his own character this time. Oh, no, he didn't, thank God. <laughs> Jimmy! Oh, baby. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy coming for a good fumble tonight, Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's been rocking the fumble a lot, hasn't he? He has. He has. It's been grand. Right. Oh, he's chair. I love the chair for a picture. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loving the black box trophy runs. Uh, you know, it's it's been great. Actually, it's a great time for Fumble, isn't it, on on Twitch? With, uh... Absolutely. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, and and to be fair, Dimmy always has the run, Jim. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I, might, I might even be partaking myself soon. Oh, that, that would be awesome, truly. Truly. <laughs> Three plus money goes six. <laughs> Uh, some jokes don't get old. <laughs> some jokes stay 29 forever. <laughs> uh oh. First time we've seen No Alias in 2K23. Flip me. Oh, baby. <laughs> Wow, talk about has been doing a bit of a workout since last we saw them. <laughs> what the hell? Oh yeah. He's buff rowdy. <laughs> well, I I can't argue. I, I hear I hear Rick Reckless is pretty happy with him right now, Jim. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I was completely bamboozled for a minute, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there, there might be some bias in this Koji booth tonight. He's <laughs> <laughs> one of the uh, the great Pum Pum Blue Light champions in the Wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Sorry, no, no. He wasn't at all. <laughs> sorry, Wemdope, Jim. Wemdope. Wemdope. That's the one. De definitely not a contender for the flip on blues right division. <laughs> no, not not in his not with his current build. He could one day, right? He is he is not the tallest guy in the world, but I uh, certainly yeah. If he really really wanted to trip down, <laughs> yeah. my word. I know who this one is. It's Kalon the Turd. <laughs> is it Kalon with or without hair, Jim? I can't tell. There's, there's a hat on. Yeah. Well, he's, he's dressed with his idol and the idol of most Irish people, <laughs> Mr. Tato. Because uh, rumour has it he uh, he won in Holmfirth in a NAF tournament this weekend. Just gone. Yeah, glorious. <laughs> his legs could compete in Flim Flam Blues for him. Yeah. The end of the <laughs> He looks like he's about to give some horse racing. <laughs> Pretty great. What do the Irish know about horses? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> he needs like a three somewhere on him, right? Because he's kill on the turd. <laughs> 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 it's Mr. Tato or Foxamania, that's well apart from the trousers. The trousers are meant to be stripes, but you can't have striped trousers, sadly. He's ready for business. And now it's the return of Odont. Wow. Not being uh, summoned against his will for a change, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Glorious. Whoa. He's the shot of the man he used to be. The prehistoric German turtle. <laughs> Seven dollar fifty legendary cosmetic. One use only. <laughs> oh god. Hello, Odon. Let's go, baby. Das is good. <laughs> That's an incredible level of German you have there, Rick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Yeah. Well done, of course. Almost right? like half of English is taken from German, Jim. Mm, it is like that, isn't it? The craziest thing is knee, right? Because they, they, they've got knee, the same as us, but it's knee. And I thought, oh, that's probably why <laughs> we've <laughs> got, we <laughs> probably spell it with a K, right? We've probably <laughs> taken it from them, but just... <laughs> Pronounce it knee because knee sounds stupid for English people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the most amazing thing is still Christmas, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Glorious entrance of Ordunt. Will he get to deliver the Ordunt bomb? And speaking of glorious entrances. He didn't have the greatest re-debut in the JFW physics, but here he is again. The absolute legend. The old god. 
The creep yeah, of Norm. Yeah, he's He's got it all, Jim. He's got the looks, the moves, the speed, the charisma, the agility, the power, the size. But uh, but he's he's rarely converted all the way. He's had some amazing victories, but he's rarely gone all the way and uh, and won the gold in the JFW. So this time he just decided to dress in gold instead. <laughs> yeah, he's got the cog there. Look in his chest. He created the electromagnetic field that uh, <laughs> that, that gave rise to the gnomes in in Dungeons and Dragons Five Idiots Law. I don't know what the name of the world is, Solarian or something. So there you go. Amazing, he's got his cog out, he's ready to rumble. <laughs> let's go, let's go. No gnomes in this match tonight though, Jim. No, true. But, you know, that's how powerful he is, he can create gnomes. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't sound very powerful, but you know. <laughs> I don't know, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be pretty pleased if I could create gnomes, Jim. <laughs> My life would be a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you could just create Elyons at will. <laughs> oh god, no frowning clown, no, look at that. Four. Four. Daunting. Strikes a daunting, daunting figure. But he's gotta get it done, Jim. He's gotta start getting it done. Finally, surely one day he will. <laughs> but it does get harder in these six man tournaments, doesn't it? In eight man, you yeah. know, six man fights, eight man fights, like the winner of this will book his package to the uh, eight man money in the ass match. But, uh. Book his passage and, and the rest of his body, Jim. Hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there is a bit of luck involved, um, for sure, unless you're one crossword army, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was outrageous. Everyone being elbowed from pillar to post. Currently fighting Skuro. Physics is making a good start, though he's picking on Dimmy. No <laughs> white low hang from fruit. <laughs> oh, and he's pinned oh. on! Surely not! Wow, we nearly had the, uh, the quickest elimination in new JFW history right there. Yeah, that would have been a tragedy for the German, but uh, shrugs it off. His shell maybe protecting him a bit. Oh wow, Kalon tossed off. Pretty pretty hard. Skuro falling into the outside. Dimmy with the fall away, but it does land uh, Odon on his shell. I think it'd be all right. Spear! Spear from Nualius on Dimmy. Mm. By the way, you might want to keep an eye on Dimmy this much. I, I believe he's, he's got loads of taunts now that are all uh, fun. No, he's just doing <laughs> okay. one now. Uh, they do well, different uh, taunts well, on the outside. Oh, no, Ali, it's with the pit on uh, Odon, just the, just the one kind. A couple of one kinds here and there so far. Well, he's now taking that Odon. What a press that one's going to want to the concrete. Oh, my word. 24 feet, I think he said. Oh, 23, yeah. Four. 23, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I added one for Dimmy Matt. Halon <laughs> well, now wielding the, the hockey stick. Or is that a. <laughs> is it a shillelagh gem, maybe? Who knows? Oh, maybe, yeah. They must have different taunts on the outside as they do in the ring. That's so stupid, isn't it? It's a little weird. Mm. Nualis and Odon going at it. Nualis with a huge belly-to-belly. -belly. Doesn't bother to follow it round. Oh! And then oh. stopped Physics with the sledgehammer dead in his tracks. Kalon getting the best of Dimmy. No, Dimmy turns it around. Oh, Kalon. Get it. Yeah, Come really, on. really good. Huh? Huh? Skurometso bringing it over to the uh, the commentary booth because if he has something to do there, no, <laughs> no, that's uh, that's Gorilla Metso. You're getting yourself confused. <laughs> Jimmy sent into the ring. Physics and uh, Skurometso sends Physics into the ring. Skuro just making sure everyone battling in the ring till they get eliminated and then stays <laughs> on the outside. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah. Not so smart, he's getting clobbered by an ice hockey stick. Yeah, r running into a ice hockey stick, definitely uh, oh sort of optimal. <laughs> getting hit by it so many times, it smashes. But Odon and then using Odon, his claws Odon, what is the, uh, Avoiding the chair shot, really, really good on the outside from Odon there. Mm. Physics on the inside, destroying Dimmy as Kalon takes a breather wisely. Mm. Could Dimmy submit to a god? 
Maybe in a moment. Oh my word, takes his head off. Dimi is reaching out, searching for some some kind of god or, or some being in uh, in Five Idiots. So yeah, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe wow. physics is what he's looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bulldog on Kalon from Dimi. Nasty, nasty stuff. Bear hug from the Wallace. We've seen this finish people before. Skuro struggling. Really struggling, Dim. Yeah, he's struggling, but... Finds the counter elbow. One count on Dimmy. Dimmy's still good for now. They're really trying to eliminate each other, Jim. I like this. Mm. Oh, and of course, sorry, no, no submissions on the outside. So as devastating as that was, that couldn't have been it, of course. This could, though. Ooh. Elon managing the one count uh, pick out as well. No two counts thusly far. Hold on. Go for a ride on his channel once more. <laughs> but look at him bounce straight back up, Jim. It just doesn't matter. Dimmy spins to me. Oh, what's he got in store? Oh, chair shot, thunderous chair shot from Morales on the outside. Get Dr. Bomb, Jim. Get Dr. Bomb. Get Dr. Bomb. Jimmy is surely done. Oh, but he's going to save him. <laughs> in a sense. It's only called distraction. <laughs> I think the stomp from Hodon busting Jimmy open. We'll have to see in a moment. Nasty chair shot from Physics finally gets caught by Skuro. Oh, Dimmy battling back. Oh, and then getting laid out. Ah, Skuro dominating physics and Noales on the outside. What the hell? It's almost as if he's overpowered Jim. <laughs> almost. Almost. Oh, lovely power slam from Kalon on physics, stalking him now. Oh my God, Dimmy with a dim, dim splash on onto the onto the shell of Ordon. Only, only Dimmy would attack the shell. <laughs> it might work. No, oh, come on, it's time. What? Oh, no. Is this an elimination? This is an elimination, isn't it, Jim? It is. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I guess. Why would the Wally stay? <laughs> just... to get all the eliminations himself, I think, Jim. That's the one. Wow, Odon dominating Kalon and Noalis at the same time. Noalis finally recovering and uh, catching him from behind. And then Kalon catches Noalis. Everyone sent into the corners. Oh, bumps the ref. Wow. The ref took it unbelievably well. Yeah. Oh, what's this, Jim? Inverted what? crab. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like a Boston crab, right? But because he's not as Irish as the... Oh, it's an Arteto out of nowhere. Arteto. He's surely that's it. No, ow, kicks out the Arteto. <laughs> oh, pedigree. Pedigree from Skuro. Kalon is done. <laughs> what? What? No, Jim, this isn't elimination. Oh I'm telling God. you now, this is yeah, what for. It's not the elimination. Flip me. Oh, wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> okay. Definitely one fall. <laughs> one fall to get some money in the bank. We might be here a while while the million <laughs> saves continue. No alias with the uh, with the shovel shot, but uh, finally gets taken out by Odon. Oh dear. I was sure I made it right, but maybe I didn't. Flip me. It's, it's all good. It mixes it up. Yeah. Let's hope we're not here all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the only worry, Jim. That's the only worry. And another save, and another save, and another bloody save. <laughs> yeah, I, I take back my comments uh, from the previous contenders making the save. Wisely done. Kept themselves in it. And everybody else, for that matter. Yeah, it surely, it, it surely couldn't be, though. Like that stupid that they keep going oh well this could be it instantly it really really could be it everybody else outside the ring physics to tap for the Wallace to go through to money in the ass Dimmy trying to make the save oh, and he does stomps him on his face well done Dimmy goes for the ride Skuro with the power bomb misses Noalias though gets him on second attempt tap suplex very nicely executed and goes for the pin how many beers has Dimmy had, Jim? Oh, too many. Oh, not not enough. Thank you. I see. Oh, you. not quite. Oh, don't get don't the bomb. Don't bomb. Doesn't get the doing. Not going to happen. Oh, oh, he can tap. He can tap. Well, Dimmy's right Dimmy's there. Dimmy's not making the save. Physics, Physics is. 
Phoenix is. Air truck on the outside. Palon with the counter. Neck breaker. Sweet neck breaker on the wall here. Odon sidewalk slam on Skuro. Physics gets countered by Dewey. Drops him down on the Achilles heel, Jim. Oh, but somehow Physics surviving. Taking two on, taking on two guys at once and somehow not being completely destroyed. Jimmy actually paid attention in classics. <laughs> Whips Odon. Big boot. Huge boot. It goes to the pin. Nobody's there. Oh. Dimmy. Oh, my no, God. No, kick out on two from Odon. Dimmy's so nearly going through to money in the ass. Oh. Brilliant. Face -buster uh, brilliant face buster with the knee. Yeah. Absolutely laying into poor Odon being completely destroyed by uh, Dimmy right now. And they're the only two in the ring. Look at this oh. maneuver. Running power slam, picked him up as if he was a rag doll. Physics defying physics with his flips on the outside, but none of that's going to count if they let Dimmy pin Odon. Yep, again the running power slam. Oh my god, this could be it. This could be it. Pin yep, him, make Dimmy. the cover, Dimmy. You've got it. You've got it. No, Dimmy. Oh, what the, another Dimmy splash. Oh, he gets his knees off. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jim. What a counter from Odon, just as it looked over. What a counter from Odon. Dimmy out in the corner, Kalon out in the middle of the ring. They're not even fighting now. On the outside. <laughs> Dimmy just covers Kalon to win. That would be the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> he get oh, go for the stairs. stairs. Wow. Oh my God, shovel to the head. Oh, pops him over, but then he takes the stairs. <laughs> And then Kalon counters Dimmy. Everybody at the outside. Nobody can win right now. Okay, Nawali is thrown inside. Skuro thrown inside. Physics follows in with a sledgehammer. Yeah. Yeah, takes down Nawali. Kalon DDT to the outside. Oh, pedigree. Skuro up with a pedigree, but Nawali is right there, Jim. He is right there. Misses. Misses oh. with the clothesline. Oh. I thought it was going to be an Olympic slam then. Oh, I got right. really excited. All right, goes for the goes for the slam instead of the torture act. Still could cover physics. It's been a long time, but physics looks completely done. Yep. Here comes Dimmy. Dimmy. Saves it again, Jim. Saves it again. <laughs> Dimmy is a man on fire tonight. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if it was Anthony of an Asian and they've just been doing this. For <laughs> 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 but no, yeah, Chili doesn't look like a man. No, no chance. Absolutely no chance. It's so easy it could have been over already. Oh, wow. What a maneuver from Skuro on physics. Oh, my God. Dimmy laying into Nawali. Poor, poor Nawali. He's done. Physics looking absolutely done as well. Wow. And Odon gets the better of Dimmy. Still Skuro on top of the ring. Oh, oh the low blow. There's no elimination, Jim. The low blow lands. Oh, my God. Cover him. Cover him, physics. Well, he's, he's had to deal with Dimmy. Dimmy came in for the save once more. Physics was smart enough to see it coming. He's now absolutely wiping out Dimmy, but it does mean, yeah, he couldn't make the pin. Dimmy saves a match of game by putting his body on the line, and then he can't do. Goes for the Achilles heel once more. <laughs> Drop oh, oh, Physics, the, the, the physics shrugs it off. <laughs> oh, poison man. Oh, my goodness. It's all gone crazy. Odon, Kalon, Nawali is fine on the outside. Physics spears Skuro to the concrete from the apron. And Nawali has come into the ring just to be mounted, apparently. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It was a suplex, thank God. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Boy, did that look not PG. <laughs> no, it, it. What's under that skirt, Jim? <laughs> he nearly got his cock out. It's the F5 gift subs! Oh my goodness, the F5 gift subs! He's brought him into a poker tournament and he's brought him out of this match. <laughs> oh, don't know, ready to save. Ready. Noalius kind of knows it right, he's not making the cover. Yeah. Catches oh, the foot! He was waiting for him. He was! He was! But here comes Skuro, <laughs> takes out. To Alias, here comes Kalon. Only Dimmy not in the ring now. We're going to get all six competitors. No, No Alias rolls to the outside. Pretty wise, Dimmy does come in. Still five in the ring. No Alias completely gone. Kalon taken out by Dimmy. Physics taken out, Skuro. Odon's already down. 
Here comes the wall. It's all six competitors in the ring. This is Mayhem. Outrageous. Oh, look at this. Taking Dimmy to Suplex City. Oh, no. And the turd. <laughs> 33 and a turd. Oh, Arteto out of nowhere. Arteto and it busts him open for the cover from the wall. Listen, Kaylon has to turn his attention and break that one up. Now, oh no, I thought he was going for the pin. He's just thrown a strop. And he gets a stop, double stop for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Physics takes out Dimmy. One of them's going to break the pin. It's Dimmy again, Jim. It's Dimmy again. He saves the match at the time. Dimmy's the man, isn't he? That's freaking amazing. Dimmy is ridiculously the man tonight. <laughs> Physics destroys Noalius for a moment and nobody's there to make the save. Somehow Noalius is recovering. Dimmy taking the stairs to everybody. There goes Kalon. There goes Hotan. Oh my word. There goes Kalon again. Finally Skuro stops oh, the wrath of Dimmy. F5 gift subs. Middle of the ring. F5 gift subs. Nobody's there. I this think he's got it. Noalius appropriately to money in the ass. He's done it, Jim. He's definitely done it this time. Yes! <laughs> Let me. The most appropriate yet least in need of money in the ass, Jim. <laughs> Who knows, maybe he bought his way in. <laughs> <laughs> Would, wouldn't surprise me. Here is your winner. Wow. Great match though in the end. It did work out quite well the, uh, in not being yep. elimination. Definitely uh, a viable alternate if they're all like that. That was incredible. Yeah. It may, what a performance from Noalias. What a great match. And uh, yep, yeah, thank you very much, Rick. Been glorious having you in the ring. In the ring, in the oh. commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> you can have me wherever you want, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> and uh thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs> <laughs>